Next, we are going to discuss the chapter biomolecules. In this chapter, we will be discussing about the different kind of biomolecules found in living beings, their function as well as their structure. First, to identify the biomolecules, we have to analyze the chemical composition. So, let's take any living tissue. It can be an animal tissue, a piece of liver or it can be a plant tissue such as a vegetable. It, it should be ground in trichloroacetic acid using mortar and pestle and we will obtain a thick slurry. This slurry has to be strained through a cheesecloth or cotton cloth and we will get two fractions. One is the filtrate or more technically the acid soluble pool and the second is the retinate or acid insoluble fraction. Simple at paranigal namely chaya prepare in the process of polyaloch and the pal lake namely tailed no tailed a valere minute title of fragments like a pal dissolved by angle. Color dissolve Acetic it is called filtrate or acid soluble pool and mugali kadakkuna portion namale retinate allengil acid insoluble fraction nu pare trichloroacetic acid aanu commonly extraction of organic compounds nu upayogikkunnathu so now let's study what are the components of filtrate and retin filtrate is acid soluble it is part of the acid soluble pool it contains micromolecules with molecular weight less than 1000 dalton Retinate is the acid insoluble fraction. It contains macromolecules or large compounds with molecular weight more than 1000 Dalton. Acid soluble pool represents roughly the cytoplasmic composition. The macromolecules from the cytoplasm and organelles become the acid insoluble fraction. Together they represent the entire chemical composition of living tissue. So macromolecules can be seen in the acid insoluble fraction while micromolecules from the cell can be seen in the acid soluble pool. Together they represent the entire chemical composition of living tissues or organisms. Exception facts. thousand Dalton weight micromolecules are the parm. Shouted exception under lipids whose molecular weight do not exceed 800 Dalton come under acid insoluble fraction, macromolecular fraction. Weight in the fats in 800 Dalton matrame weight to lu. Thousand Dalton a cartel coravana, the one to the acid soluble pool to poganda than. Bakshe fats in the acid soluble pool to carna matilla, marche acid insoluble fraction and a retinate lana carna gaina. Lipids are present not only as such but also arranged into structures like cell membranes and other membranes. When we grind the tissue, we are disrupting the cell structure. Cell membrane and other membranes are broken into pieces and form vesicles which are not water soluble. That's the reason. Namale grind a modern pathology grind a cell membrane the outer covering like a main phospholipids are kind of lipids cell and then crushed down broken into small pieces down these small pieces are combined into vesicle form it is because of formation of hydrophobic vesicles that they are not water soluble but these vesicles are hydrophobic and water soluble that is the acid will dissolve we will not be able to dissolve it according to weight fats should come in the acid soluble pool but because of the formation of vesicles which are not water soluble they are not found in the acid soluble pool instead they are found in the acid insoluble fraction therefore these membrane fragments in the form of vesicles get separated along with the acid insoluble pool and hence in the macromolecular fraction ab lipids in the macromolecules in thanneyana parayunengilum they are not strictly macromolecules lipids are not strictly macromolecules This is a living sample of tissue. This is organic compounds. This is a further study. We will 
ऑर्गानिक कॉमपौस इतना इनोर्गानिक कॉमपौस इनोर्गानिक कॉमपौस फस्ट वन वे स्मोल अमौंट ऑफ लिविंग टीश्यू से लीव और लिवर दिस वेट वेट आज ड्रई इट All the water evaporates. The remaining material gives a dry weight. Now, if the tissue is fully burnt, all the carbon compounds are oxidized to gaseous form, that is, carbon dioxide and water vapor, and are removed. What is remaining is called ash. This ash contains inorganic elements like calcium, magnesium, etc. Inorganic compounds like sulfate, phosphate, etc. are also seen in the acid-soluble fraction. So, engine, I am not making. इनोर्गानिक कॉमपोसीपोसीशन अब पेटी और पीस फॉर एक्सापि लिवर टीश्यू तेज अब आदमी मेषर वेट 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 अब अगर लिक्विड कंपन वाटर कंटंट एल चेर वेट नाम कंप्लिटी ड्रई चय अब वाटर कंटे मत इवापेट अगर नमुक ड्रई वेट कॉटर पिश्यू वेट अगर फैंड नाम टीश्यू ऑलरेडी अगर वाटर कंटंट वाटर सोलब वाटर कंटंट इन नाम बेण बेण पटोबू हईड्रजन ऑक्सीजन काबण डई ऑक्सइड वाटर वेपर एस्केप आईपेट इनोर्गानिक एलमें लाइक कालस्यम मग्नीष्यम सलफेट फॉस्फेट एक्सेट्रा अब इन ना इनोर्गानिक एलमेंसी अनालिस बै आश् अनालि अगर अनालिस अब ना ह्यूम बॉडी नोक हईड्रजि पेर्सेज वेट फाइव काब ऑक्सीजन सिक्सटी फाइव नईट्रजन थ्री थ्री सलफर् सोडियम टू कालस्यम वन फाइव मग्नीष्यम सीरों वन आिलिकब क्वाटी इतने नाम पीस ऑफ एर्त क्रस्ट अदर कष्ण मणेपोले वेट वेट ड्रई वेट अनालिस नमुक कॉन्सट्रेशन अलग वेट पेर्सेज वेट अमौंट ऑफ हईड्रजन प्रस यूनिट मस पेज वेट एक्सप्रेस दट वन फोर काबण ऑक्सीजन फोर्टी सिक्स नईट्रजन वेरी लिटिल सलफर् सोडियम टू पॉइंट एट कालस्यम थ्री सिक्स मग्नीष्यम टू पॉइंट वन सिलिक ट्वेंटी सवन अब ईर स्टील नमक मनस ऑर्गानिक आनोर्गानिक ऑर्गानिक कॉमपौस आज इनोर्गानिक सोल्स नमुक एर्त क्रस्ट काो अद ह्यूम बॉडी अल ह्यूम बॉडी एर्त क्रस्ट अलग लिविंग ऑर्गानिम नोण लिविंग बीइंग कंपेर एल एलमें बेसीिक एलमें सें पक्षे रिलेटीव प्रपोर्षन और डिफरस आ प्रपोर्षन डिफरस There is a wide diversity in living organisms in our biosphere. All elements present in sample of Earth's crust are also present in sample of living tissue. Now, let's discuss it. Then, relative abundance of carbon and hydrogen with respect to other elements is higher in any living organism than in the Earth's crust. Number two, come on. Carbon and hydrogen in concentration, much elements in compare. Remember, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen in concentration, much elements in compare. Remember, one more to cover the land. ह्यूमन बॉडी अलग ऐसी लिविंग बीइंग अदान लिविंग बीइंग नोण लिविंग बीइंग बेसीिक डिफरें द नेचर ऑफ एलमें सें इट ईस रिलेटीव अबंड ऑफ काबण हईड्रजन ऑक्सीजन विच डिफे All the carbon compounds that we get from living tissues can be called biomolecules. अब आंगन है ना हमारे living beings ने study ये दो non-living beings ने study ये दो आंगन है ना हमको मंसले रंडले औरे elements अक्के न उल्लाद पक्षे अदन डे concentration आ different ना मंसले आंगन है ना हमारे analysis अक्का नाटते ये दक्के compounds अन्ना को मंसले आंगन है ना हमारे मंसले आके organic compounds living beings ने ना extract ये द एल्ला organic compounds ने collective वाइट बिल्कुल ना पेर आना biomolecule so that is where the name biomolecules came from all carbon compounds that we get from living tissues can be called biomolecules now we can perform two kinds of analysis elemental analysis and compound analysis elemental analysis gives elemental composition of living tissue in the form of hydrogen oxygen chlorine carbon etc while analysis for compounds gives an idea of the kind of organic and inorganic constants present in the living tissue elemental analysis is either key elements either an carbon either an oxygen either an chlorine etra concentration und endu find cheyam adhe pole कॉमपौंड अनालिस ऑर्गानिक कॉमपौस इनोर्गानिक कॉमपौंड अगर एत्रहैड्रेट प्रोटीन अलग सलफेट फॉस्फेट अनालिस कॉमपौंड अनालिस 
From a chemistry point of view, one can identify functional groups like aldehyde, ketone and aromatic compounds. But from biological point of view, we should classify them into amino acids, nucleotide base, fatty acid, etc. So, in a chemistry point of view, we can this compound is aldehyde, and ketone, and aromatic compound, and phenol, and what is it? From a biological point of view, it is amino acid, vitamin, protein, nucleotide, fat, fatty acid, lipid, fatty acid, glycerol, etc. We can explain the biological action. We will discuss this chapter about biological significant diets. Category and number discuss here about that is amino acid, nucleotides, nucleosides, nucleic acids, protein. This is again number in chapter discuss here. First, amino acids. It contains an amino group and acidic group as substituents on the same carbon atom. That is the alpha carbon atom. They are substituted methane. Up to methane on the other side. That is the number substitute here. Carbon is attached to one hydrogen atom. Then R, R can be any side chain. Then it is attached to NH2 group, amino group. And the other side, it is attached to carboxyl group. So, if we know carbon is tetravalent, the positive and balance is satisfied. That is amino group and one carboxyl group. Simultaneously, amino group and carboxyl group are the same as amino acid. Four substance groups occupying four valency positions. These are hydrogen, carboxyl group, amino group and variable group designated as R group. Based on nature of R group, there are many amino acids. However, those which occur in proteins are only 20. In proteins, we have only 20 identified amino acids. In R group, in the nature answer is we have amino acids. But mainly proteins, we have 20 type amino acids. For example, in R group, H the dividime H is the name of the amino acid is called glycine. One carbon attached to one amino group, one COH group, one H and another hydrogen. That is the name of it. It is called as glycine. Next, R is the methyl group. CH3 is the name of it. It is called alanine. Hydroxy methyl group, CH3OH is the name of it. It is called serine. Based on the nature of R group, the name of the amino acid varies. There are many amino acids. If the R group is H, it is called glycine. If it is methyl group, it is called alanine. If it is hydroxy methyl group, it is called serine. That is the aromatic amino acids. We will specify the three aromatic amino acids. Tyrosine, phenylalanine and tryptophan. That is the one amino acid is the number of COH group and number of NH2 group in the cut and cut and cut. We call it as acidic amino acid. Example, glutamic acid. On the other hand, number of amino acid is the number of NH2 group in the cut and cut. Automatically, it is the basic nature of the cut. Example, it is lysine. Neutral, random day amount is equal to the cut. It is called neutral amino acid. Example, valid. Glutamic acid, lysine and valine are examples of acidic, basic and neutral amino acids respectively. Now, a particular property of amino acid is the ionizable nature of NH2 and COH groups. E NH2 group and COH group is an ionization property. It is very important. Ionization property is the NH2 group. One H plus name would accept NH3 plus A. That is why this COOH group is lose COO minus A. Hence, in solutions of different pH, structure of the amino acid changes. In our acidic media, the amino acid is placed in the acidic media. The length of the amino acid is H plus. That is why one H plus name. E COO minus ang acceptin. So in acidic medium, amino acid acts as proton acceptor. In a basic medium lani, basic medium lani gil OH minus in the concentration ana kud dale. So angane verba, or basic medium thile amino acid or proton donor hai taakte the H plus ni donate the N NH two hai marup. So abda or proton donor hai taan NH three plus will donate H plus to OH minus and act as NH two. There it acts as proton donor. That is, hence in different solutions of different pH, structure of amino acid changes. In acidic medium, it behaves as proton acceptor. 
മൈലിൻ ബേസിക് മിഡമിറ്റ് ബിഹേവ്സ് എസ് പ്രൂഫ് ഓഫ് ഡോൺ അപ്പൊ ഇതിനൊരു പോസിറ്റീവ് ചാർജ് ആയിട്ടും ബിഹേവ് ചെയ്യാം അതേപോലെ നെഗറ്റീവ്ലി ചാർജ് കോമ്പൗണ്ട് ആയിട്ടും ബിഹേവ് ചെയ്യാം സൈമൽട്ടേനിയസ്ലി ബോത്ത് പോസിറ്റീവ് ആൻഡ് നെഗറ്റീവ് ചാർജും കാണിക്കാം സി ഒ ഒ മൈനസും എൻ എച്ച് ത്രീ പ്ലസ് രണ്ടും ഉള്ളൊരു ബിഹേവിയറും കാണിക്കാം ഈ ഡുവൽ ചാർജ് ഉള്ളൊരു അയോൺ ഈ ഡൈപോളർ അയോണാണ് നമ്മൾ സ്വിറ്റർ അയോൺ എന്ന് പറയും സോ സ്വിറ്റർ അയോണിക് ഫോം ഇസ് എ ഫോം ഓഫ് ദ അമിനോ ആസിഡ് ഇൻ വിച്ച് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ഗോട്ട് ഡുവൽ ചാർജ് ബോത്ത് സിഒ സി ഒ ഒ മൈനസ് ലൂസസ് ഹൈഡ്രജൻ ടു ഫോം സി ഒ ഒ മൈനസ് സി ഒ ഒ എച്ച് ലൂസസ് എച്ച് പ്ലസ് ടു ഫോം സി ഒ ഒ മൈനസ് വൈൽ എൻ എച്ച് ടു അക്സെപ്റ്റ്സ് ഇൻ എച്ച് പ്ലസ് ടു ഫോം എൻ എച്ച് ത്രീ പ്ലസ് സോ ദിസ് ഡുവൽ ചാർജ്ഡ് ആറ്റം is called as this dual charged ion is called as zwitter ion it contains both positive and negative charge so net charge is zero also it can be called as a dipolar ion it is a particular property seen in amino acids only next we are going to discuss about lipid lipids nu parayum fat aanu they are generally water insoluble already discussed and a fat has a carboxyl group attached to an R group. The R group can be methyl group, ethyl group or higher number of carbon. It ranges from 1 to 19 carbon atoms. See arachidonic acid, it contains 20 carbon atoms including carboxyl carbon. Altogether 20 carbon atoms are. Palmitic acid, it contains 16 carbon atoms including carb- carboxyl carbon. Glycerol is a simple lipid which is trihydroxypropane. Lecithin. Lecithin is a phospholipid. What are phospholipids? Some lipids have phosphorus and phosphorylated organic compounds in them. These are phospholipids. So if they have phosphorylated organic compounds attached, they are called phospholipids. They are found mainly in the cell membrane, particularly in the nervous tissue. Lecithin is one example. Also, ner- nervous tissues have lipids with more complex structures. Another classification of li- lipids, along with fats, is saturated and unsaturated if they are saturated they do not contain double and triple bond if they are unsaturated they contain one or more double double bond or triple bond appo saturated nu parayumba saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated nu parayumba unsaturated hydrocarbons with double or triple bond aayirikku many lipids have both glycerol and fatty acids here the fatty acids are found esterified with glycerol appo ester bond aanu avade fatty acids and glycerolum rendum kaana namukku lipids il edu simple aayittulla lipid trihydroxypropane aayittulla glycerolum adhe pole long chain fatty acids um ore pole namukku chela lipids il kaanam avade glycerolum fatty acids um thammile ester bond aanu form cheyyathu they can be monoglyceride diglyceride or triglyceride based on number of glycerol molecules in your classification of lipids and into fats and oils fats have higher melting point and they remain solid at room temperature example ghee oils have lower melting point example gingelly oil and hence they remain as oil in winters and in room temperature fats contain mostly saturated fatty acids that means without double bond more an oil contain mostly saturated fatty acids with one or more double bonds adayidu room temperature eduth nokku namukku neyum enne idu rendu neyum coconut oil um adu rendu compare cheyathane manasilo alle fat neyum namukku or fat aayittu consider cheyyam because it has high melting point it is solid at room temperature alle nammal onnu heat cheyidal mathrame urigi varullu pakshe oil or room temperature thana oil formula anadu irikkunu so they have lower melting point also fats il koodalum saturated fatty acids aanu oils il koodalum unsaturated fatty acids aanu